Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we're checking out a Sterling by Music Man Ray 4 SUV equipped with a Seymour Duncan pickup and preamp. Let's check it out. This is yet another Sterling by Music Man Ray 4 SUV, and this one's equipped with a Seymour Duncan SMB 4A El Nico pickup, as well as an STC 3M3 3 band preamp. Now, I've made another video about this base previously, and this preamp is the same preamp that's featured in the ESP GB4, which is one of my favorite slat machines. Now this is the least expensive big brand name here, and the second least expensive set of electronics overall. The pickup is $99 direct from Seymour Duncan, and the preamp combination is $139 for a total of $238. That's $30 cheaper than the Aguilar and Nordstrand pair, and $40 cheaper than the EMG set. Now if you've seen the other videos that I made on this base, you know that this is a great sounding pickup and preamp combination. However, things aren't all sunshine and roses. I sent this base out to get repainted in a really cool color. However, I decided to get it sent back to do this special. And when it was reassembled, there was some sort of weird noise. It was an electronic hum that was really annoying. And I investigated it, I could not find the source. I took everything apart, I put it back together, and there was still that noise. So I ordered a new pickup and new preamp and I installed those in here and that was a pain in the butt as well. The wires that they use on the preamp are extremely thin and extremely frail, and that led to a lot of headaches that honestly I think could have been avoided with some higher quality wire. But I guess you get what you pay for, as this is much cheaper than all the other pickups and preamps here by a solid margin, except for the Tone Monster, which we're gonna be checking out last. So as I mentioned, this is the Seymour Duncan 70s style El Nico pickup, as opposed to the 90s style ceramic. And I was hoping to get as close to a USA Stingray tone as possible. Now with the preamp, the controls are very simple. You have a volume, a mid, and a stacked bass and treble control. The volume knob is a push-pull, which activates slap mode when you pull it. And that's a separate EQ curve, which you can set with two trim pots that are in the, uh, on the PCB. And that's pretty much it. There's no variable mid sweep, no second mid target, just the separate EQ curve for slap mode. Looking at this on its own, it's a pretty cool pickup and preamp combo. However, looking at it amongst all these other pickups and preamps, this preamp is kind of lacking in features in regards to mid targeting. For a mid frequency, it is targeting 600 Hertz, where most of these other ones are targeting around 800 to 1000. So this may be more focused towards a Stingray application, but we'll see. Well, I know you guys are wondering, what does this thing sound like? You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my handle turn back to normal. Thanks. Sounds really good. So that was what the EQ centered. Let's go ahead and check out the slap contour right now. Wow, that makes a big difference. 
So originally when I looked at this bass, I did not set the internal EQ for the slap mode. So it sounded very similar to the stock setting. However, I messed around with those knobs this time and it sounds a lot better. Sounds pretty bad. <laughs> bad at all. Now let's go ahead and cut the EQ entirely, bring everything down, way, way down. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out the bass and treble stack here. Let's bring the bass up to center first. bad at all. Now let's boost the bass to about 50%. Right there. Very nice. You know what? Let's go ahead and put on slap mode. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now let's cut the bass and bring in the treble. Have that at center. Not bad. Not too harsh. Sounds sounds pretty good. Now let's boost the treble to 50%. <laughs> And let's go ahead and center the treble control and bring the bass up to center as well. Let's 
Now let's go ahead and cut the bass and cut the treble and bring the mids up to center. And here's the mids at 50%. Not bad. Keeping the mids at 50%, let's bring the bass and treble up to center. Now let's take the mids from a 50% boost to a 50% cut. Not bad. Let's try that with the slap contour. Now, let's center the EQ one more time, take her out of slap mode, and see how she slaps. Not bad. Let's try that with slap mode. <laughs> yeah, this sounds really good. This sounds very good. Now, let's see what this sounds like with some drums behind it. So I'm gonna switch slap mode on and off halfway through, both slapping and plucking, just so you can hear the difference. Thank you. 
So here are my final thoughts on the Seymour Duncan pair, the STC 3M3 preamp and the SMB 4A pickup. So the pickup sounds really good. No qualms with the pickup. However, the preamp, I did have issues with the cheap wiring that they're using. It's very, very thin. And when you're trying to cram it into a tight control cavity like the Stingray SUB, things can get a little hairy. This one gave me the most headaches in terms of broken solder points or broken wires more than any other pickup preamp combo here by a long shot. So much so that I had to order a second preamp and pickup combo because I was just so frustrated. So yes, this is a three band preamp just like the others and it is $40 less than the EMG and $30 less than the Nordstrand and the Aguilar combo. However, you do get what you pay for here. Looking at the preamp on its own, it does sound good. However, the headaches that are associated with it, at least for me and my installation, were not worth it. I would rather pay the extra money for a higher quality preamp. But you don't have to shell out big bucks either to get a nice sounding pickup and preamp combo for a Stingray or an SUB. And we're gonna be checking out the Tone Monster pickups last in the series. So be sure to check that out later today. Now, one nice thing about the Seymour Duncan STC 3M3 preamp combo is it comes with its own knobs and they're high quality metal knobs too. Finished in a matte black, they feel nice to use and I like them. Again, my only real issue with the preamp here is the cheap wiring. And I think this would benefit from a bit more heavy duty wire. Yeah, so my final verdict on this, solid combo, though watch out for the cheap wiring on the preamp as it can bite you. Bite you right in the butt. <sighs> well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about my Sterling SUB with the Seymour Duncan Alnico pickup as well as the three-band preamp. And as always, until we groove again.